Mickey Cohen battles the police for control of 1940s Los Angeles. These latest rumors of corruption are an attempt to undermine confidence in this city's police department and my administration. But neither side is willing to back down in this true-to-life drama. It's the job. Some things go right, some don't. The stakes are raised as the casualties grow in TNT's new series, Mob City. Hi, I'm Salim. I'm Rachel. And I'm Sean. Mob City is the new TV series on TNT created by Frank Darabont. We've all just seen it. Rachel, what do you think of Mob City? I think it's a really great show, actually. It's got some of the same problems that a lot of pilots have, which is you have to introduce us to everybody, and they've really done that in the pilot. They've introduced us to about 40 different characters. There's a bunch of police people, a bunch of civilians, a bunch of mobsters. That being said, it's a little bit hard to follow at first, but pacing slows down and smooths out, and especially by episode one, you really get to take a lot of time with each character. You start to figure out what's going on. There's some power struggles. I find it to be a very good show so far. Let's talk about the showrunner a little bit, Frank Darabont, who we all know from The Walking Dead, which he did a couple of years ago, but even more so from The Shawshank Redemption. So I've been a very big fan of him for a while, and I'm glad to see him back after he was unceremoniously uh, fired from The Walking Dead. The show, the pilot, it's good. The mm -hmm. very first half of it, it's a little bit uneven, mm -hmm. though I think it really comes into its own at the very end of the show. I'm not going to say what happens, but it really catches me by surprise and definitely propels me into the second episode. I like Frank Darabont a lot, too. I've actually liked everything Frank Darabont has done, even yeah. The Majestic, which had some yeah. problems. But I didn't get why Frank Darabont wanted to make this material. This feels like 1940s film noir cliches. Every single scene in the first two episodes feels lifted from some other movie or mob trope that I've seen a thousand times before. And so I'm going, what is Frank Darabont doing to spin this material into something new? And so far, he hasn't given me anything. I was trying to figure out how is this any different, especially because it's Frank Darabont. He's going to bring his own signature spin to it. But I think what he's trying to do is bring us back to the old school noir and really use that aesthetic for the whole show. There's a lot of music. There's a lot of voiceovers. So that's why I think you're feeling that it's been done before. It's because it has. He's really trying to bring us back to that aesthetic. Am I under suspicion of something? Am I being held? No, miss. You're free to go anytime. Then what do you want? Insight. You're with the man. Do you want to see his killer brought in? Look, if I could help, I'd say so. I was really afraid that this TV show was going to be more so like Gangster Squad and not like LA Confidential. Unfortunately, Gangster Squad to me was drivel. It was sometimes comedic, and sometimes this show in the very first episode is a bit comedic. But what that movie didn't do, it didn't showcase the police corruption in Los Angeles, which I think this show, by the, especially by the end of the, the pilot, really, it looks like it's going to be talking a lot about that. Everybody's trying to make the next hit TV show, and they've all been done before. But this show, to me, I think the strength of it is the characters and, and the acting. Because what you have is, you have actors who are cast against type, which that rarely happens. You know, you have Neil McDonough who's playing this very good guy. You have guys who usually a typecast as good guys playing bad guys, guys who are used to playing villains who now have to rein it in and play good guys. And there's such a depth in these characters, but it's done, I feel like, a lot better than some of the things that are on... TV right now. And well, and speaking of actors going against type, that's maybe the one thing that I didn't like about oh, really? it. Uh, well, just for example, John Bernthal. He is from The Walking Dead. He played Shane. He was also uh, recently in the movie Snitch with uh, The Rock. In both of those two cases, he plays this very manic, on the edge type of character. And I think he plays those characters very, very well. In this one, he's the, the straight edge, typical leading man, which I don't think he's at, that strong at. I'm going to repeat myself, but it, <laughs> even the acting, it feels like. This guy trying to do Humphrey Bogart, or this guy trying to do Sam Spade or Philip Marlowe. You know, the, the way these people talk, the way they even wear their hats, the way they carry around their badges. If you want to see cliches well done, Mob City does it well. Frank Darabont knows how to do these cliches, but I don't find the characters that interesting because I've seen the characters before, and I don't find the setting or the plot that interesting because I've seen it before. We have historical characters in this, but we do also have some fictional characters. Alexa and Milo are playing two characters that were invented to give this some new life. Mickey loves having his picture in the papers, especially with celebrities. We had George Raft and Ava Gardner in the other night. Nice. Not just famous people. Nobody's, too. Next time you're in, I'll take your picture. Simon Pegg, for me, in the pilot, was amazing. I I was expecting him to come in and play some British, you know, guy who right. really doesn't make sense in the story. Or be comic relief. Be, or be, I mean, he kind of is because he plays a comedian, but he plays a, a tragic comedian. His character and his role might be what people remember from the pilot the most. And that's not saying that the pilot's not, you know, good. It's just that Simon Pegg is that great in this role. 
And don't confuse me for upstanding. That's not what this is. It's a winning hand. My whole life I've been dealt crap. Finally, I got a royal flush. Finally a win. That's what this is. My ticket out. This looks specifically shot on a studio backlot. Yeah. I think that's part of the point, but it's there. I mean, mm -hmm. The production values, there's a shot at the beginning of the first episode, the pilot, where there's an L train going in the back, and it clearly looks like that is being put in in post-production. It doesn't look genuine at all. I think that Darabon is doing that on purpose to echo these 40s gangster films and film noir with these prison movies that he's done with The Walking Dead he's taken familiar genres that people know about mm -hmm. and he spun them in new and different ways yeah. maybe Mob City could do this so far he has not spun it for me at all it's entrenched in the roots of, of 40s noir well it is based off of a very popular book called L.A. Noir which was this was originally going to be called but then changed to Mob City I don't know why he decided to have such obvious set pieces that look like it was the back lot of a set. If he's trying to go for authenticity, if he's trying to base it off of this real um, historical um, account, he needs to have some real historical places and he's got to get outside of the, the black lots. I, I don't understand why he did that. Yeah. And he's confessed himself a huge fan of Goodfellas, mm -hmm. as much of, as many of us are. He even said he watched Goodfellas as sort of preparation <laughs> for Shawshank Redemption, just as inspiration for it. And so... That movie is so different from all the other gangster pictures, and mm -hmm. then he's not... It, maybe he didn't want to make Goodfellas, but still, I'm wondering what really inspired <laughs> well, him to make know. Mob City. We have so many doctor shows. We have so many serial killer shows. I'd like to see this show that's set in an unusual playground, and I feel like these characters are interesting enough that I want to watch them and see what they do and how they interact. I was expecting a lot more from Mob City, a better title for one, but because of the talent involved and the aesthetic, I'm going to give it a chance. See it. A solid show with well-developed characters and a jovially violent tone. I give it a see it. Mob City features a very familiar population. It's a nice place to visit. I just don't know if it's worth living there yet. Stream it. So our votes add up to two and a half tickets, which is a see it for Mob City. Cheers. Ah, see? Wise guy, man. You know how to whistle, don't you, Steve? 